Hi everyone, let's look at the latest Pew Research Center report on teens, social media and technology. Um, this was released uh, 15 days ago, as you can see, August 10th, 2022. And I just wanted to bring this to your notice about how teens are doing in the technological landscape. Um, the TikTok has established itself as one of the top online platforms, and we will see what is the number one platform. Uh, you might already guess based on your own personal use. Um, and uh, of course, Facebook has fallen sharply. So uh, I don't know in which world Facebook and Meta universe is still relevant unless if you are considering um, all the Instagram reels that uh, people are posting these days. Okay, so all the Instagram influencers are posting these days. So let's look at what is happening. If you see the trends from 2014 to now, look at how things have been changing. Facebook has almost become irrelevant with the, uh, where it was at 71% engagement rate. Now it is at 32. But what has been sharply rising is the usage of TikTok, which was non-existent at that time, at that time and Instagram and Snapchat. So if you know what children do on Snapchat, they believe in these streaks that they don't want to miss even one single day of posting. Uh, it is kind of a badge of honor for them. And Instagram Reels, we know everybody and anybody who has a cell phone is just um, trying to bring up content, uh, which is sometimes not so great. So as you can see, let us look at what is happening. 67% of teens say they are using TikTok and 16% of it are saying that they are using it constantly. They are constantly consuming something or the other on the internet and especially on TikTok. Um, these are a few second video reels uh, that uh, people can post. Uh, they're supposed to be showing a slice of your life, showing something that you're doing goofy or serious or it's just... It's just a big content mess there. Um, so YouTube tops it, of course, as we were just uh, talking about it, uh, it is the top teen online landscape where 95% of teens log in at least once a day on this platform. So it's no surprise that YouTube uh, and the medium of consumption, which is now videos for a majority of us is rapidly increasing and YouTube takes the cake. So why is all this a problem? Why, what is the problem uh, if people are watching YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat? What is the problem, right? The problem is many fold, okay? So living in the real world where you were as a human designed for versus living in the online world constantly in the mode of consuming, consuming, consuming takes you away far from reality, from your current reality. So... Uh, teens are using it as a coping mechanism. Teens are using it to just post everything, their social signaling through it. They're like, look at the car, look at my house, look at my room, look at my, you know, th things that I have. You know, it's, they're just using it as something to signal to the world how great they are or how woke they are. So that is the problem here. So we talk about it here uh, extensively, social media and its collateral damage. I had to create two parts for it because uh, there's, there's just so much content uh, to be talked about. So here, what is the problem? It is the fuel for depression and anxiety. How is that possible? The problem is you are never in your present moment. You're always plucked from your present moment because you just don't want to be here. You want to be somewhere on the phone. Um, looking at your friend's picture from some destination island thing that she's doing and you want to be transported there. Um, you you want to have a body that you cannot have, that you want to crave. And uh, it always makes you miserable in comparison mode because somebody else is doing a better job at uh, living the way they want to live. Um, again, every time you post something, every th time you are looking for validation, a thumbs up or a heart button, your dopamine goes up and that is also a form of dopamine addiction that you are going through. Uh, and real life usually often is boring and doesn't give you that, um, you know, rush. Uh, and uh, usually we always reach out for our phone. Sometimes we are reaching out for our phone 150, 200 times a day, always craving for excitement. 
again social media as we were just talking about is used for virtue signaling uh, you know handbags watches fancy cars you know you name it you got it's living in all these palatial homes you are aspiring for all that and in comparison your own real life pains out so again that is a form of anxiety for you you know that you have not made it um, uh, and if you have made it again this is a form of virtue signaling to everybody around you that hey look i've made this um, information overload <laughs> there's absolutely no need for talent or having to be exceptional if you are on the internet as you can see based on the amount of content that people are generating so please think about what you are posting materialism again okay. you see all these celebrity and the instagram influencers endorsing all these brands these teas these handbags everything and uh, you know you you crave for all those things to own all of those things uh, perfectionism again you're looking at online lives of celebrities and think that that is how life has to be lived but real life is just so monotonous and boring and just so played but uh, it is very difficult for teenagers to understand if they are constantly in that mode of comparison um let's see i also have something else here in part two which is equally important um, sleep deprivation uh, look at how teenagers are sleeping less and less and less and Jeannie Twenge, one of the anthropologists who has been studying um, the selfie generation or the I gen generation talks about quite a bit um, and uh, she also talks about the sleep depri deprivation and the disruption that is being caused with the blue light that is being emitted by our uh, devices. The next thing is uh, distraction addiction. Even adults are to be blamed for this. Looking down at your phone for five seconds means you have driven the length of an entire football field completely blind. This is what Alison Graham says in her research. Um, again, uh, okay, so uh, it's just unbelievable. Um, YouTube and even children's content that is labeled as children is uh, sometimes loaded with uh, pornographic images and uh, porn and they were 30 333,000 videos that were counted in 2009 these are the stats from 2018 from covenant eyes porn stats reports um, so it's just a very sad landscape um, something that needs clear up over and over again um, and also linear communication one of the very big problems is whatever you might say in the real world um, to a real person uh, you will have to be polite otherwise you know it's just not going to work out but if you are a stranger in, in the wheel of anonymity what you can be doing is you can be cursing you can be doing all kinds of sassy comments um, you can be very mean to the other person without even having to reveal your identity that is the biggest problem we are facing um, fame hungry so what are all these thirst traps that we keep uh, coming across all these people wearing revealing clothes uh, again uh, cue the kardashian sisters so you know what i'm talking about um, cyber bullying again uh, we were just talking about it uh, a harmless joke whatever you meant as a harmless joke might be completely taken out of context and just blown out of proportion in a matter of seconds and it has the potential to go viral and destroy the life of a person so please when you are saying something make sure that you're not being rude you're not being impolite and uh, there is no chance of misunderstanding that thing that you're about to post um so yeah sexting is happening porn as we were just talking about it's addictive and uh, it has the same reward systems in our brain as cocaine addiction and then if you see uh, kids are starving for attention from busy parents these days so they are just playing video games and meeting up strangers on the internet so there are a lot of things guys that we will have to uh, watch out for so please uh, i will post the link for these trends as well as the two links that we were just talking about thank you so much bye